Uh, hey guys, welcome back to another Joe Wednesday update. Uh, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Um, obviously, I'm in a different room today. I'm trying to change things up a little bit. Um, firstly, since since Mitch been, has been hosting those kind of like family open room things on uh, Wednesday evenings, I think it's been working out for everybody so far. But thus far, I've been doing my Joe videos afterwards so i wasn't uploading it till like 11 o'clock or midnight so you weren't seeing it until thursday or something like that so um i tried to shuffle things around on my day today after dinner to see if i could do it before so i'm doing it right now so hopefully i'll have that before the family room chat thing and and hopefully i don't have to stay up until the wee hours of the night to try to do it um so let's see uh family updates um I don't know. I don't really. I don't really have. I. I mean, Lydia's doing great. Like, like, like she's. Uh, <laughs> you know, she's healthy. She's happy. She's doing good at daycare. She's doing all that stuff. I don't think there's anything really to update on that front. But um, uh, things continue to be very stressful on interacting with her right now. So that that has kind of sucked. Um, it's it's kind of weird. Like I like. It almost feels like it was like a dream where like like I used to be able to help her get to bed in 15 minutes or I used to do bath time and she used to be excited about it and it's like you know like I'd be able to pick her up and she'd go like oh yeah let's go do bath um uh and she doesn't like like that has just like all up and disappeared and it's it's <laughs> it's like there's this like there's like this kind of like background noise in my head just going like it, it was it ever really there and like have ever any of my efforts mattered and that kind of stuff and I don't I don't know I don't know quite how to resolve that right now um I certainly don't know uh how to on a day like today where I'm fighting through a migraine all day so I'll probably be cutting this video a little short just because I've been fighting through a migraine all day and I really just wanted to sleep all day um, but I've been fighting that, so, but anyway, so yeah, so I mean, like, like I said, like, I, I think Lydia's doing just fine, but, um, like, she is just, like, adamantly no dad, like, 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 the last time we tried to do bath with her, she, like, cried so hard that she actually caused, like, some of, like, whatever inflammation she has from teething, like, her gums started bleeding because she was screaming so, and crying so hard, um, I, I we haven't seen anything else so I think physically she's fine but I just I don't I don't think I'm gonna get that imagery out of my head anytime soon um so yeah so that's that's been a bummer for me personally but I don't I don't think Lydia I don't think she's any worse for wear so uh so to awkwardly transition to maybe ha hopefully happier news um Labor Day weekend was generally okay. Um, so Ashley, for my birthday, got me this like uh, screen netting stuff that we could put in front of the garage door. Um, wasn't really sure how that was gonna work at first, but it's really all, they, they basically just send you this. It's just, it's just it's this big net has a seam down the middle that like attaches magnetically to each other. And then it just has like Velcro strips along the edges. And um, and then they just give you like this adhesive tape that has Velcro on the one side and the, and the adhesive on the other. And you just roll it along the frame of your uh, garage. Uh, and then you, you know, you Velcro the top and then I, I do the top first and then I Velcro the sides afterwards. Um, like I think the sides were like, it was like a pinch too wide on both sides. So instead of like being able to attach to the wooden frame, I had to go a little bit farther and attach to like the brick. And I have a feeling that that adhesive tape is not going to be able to stick as long as I want it to on that brick. But I mean, it's, it's worse for what it needs to do right now. Um, but I guess like, uh, like even like hearing the concept of it, I was like, like the, I was, there's a healthy amount of skepticism about it, but I wasn't not willing to try it. Um, because like, it just, it, it sounded like a lot of put up and tear down work. And, you know, since like, you know, we'd have to put it up, we'd have to back out the cars and we'd have to close it again and that kind of stuff. It just like it, it, it sounded like it was just something that was going to need like a lot of planning and like, you know, upkeep to like use it. Um, and I think it still does, but like we had, like we left the garage open for like the whole, uh, Labor Day weekend 
And honestly, like, it was really awesome to have. Um, like, cause I, I've done like, I've done a few workouts out there and I haven't had to worry about any bugs the whole time, but I'm still kind of outside and it's really nice. Um, but like, you know, we've, we've eaten dinner out there a couple of times and done all that kind of stuff. And, and Lydia absolutely loves walking through it. She, she, she's just, uh, she's just a bag of giggles when she's going in and out of that thing. Cause she can like actually like push through it and then the magnets come back together. So she's on the outside. She's like, I outside. And it's, it's, it's adorable. Um, so yeah, so, uh, overall, I, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll still need to kind of play around with how to get it to work on like a more daily like regular use basis versus like a deliberate like weekend use space or you know may maybe that'll be what it turns out to be like just something that we use when we have like deliberate plans for it or something like that but overall i really liked having it um it was pretty cool um let's see work is generally fine nothing really to report there um uh yeah, no, I don't, not, not really anything to speak of there. Um, I've still been getting to the tennis court that's near us to, like, kind of work my arm back into shape for, for doing tennis stuff, and I think I'm kind of getting there, because um, I, I, I went to a lunch on Friday with some coworkers, and we went, and we meet at this park so we can meet outside and stay socially distant and all that kind of stuff, but, uh, but um, one of the guys, Mike, he plays tennis, um, just kind of casually, and, and sometimes uh, our friend Giorgio will join in. Um, but I played with him last Friday, and um, I was actually a little closer than just like, like, like I was more than useless. <laughs> like I was, I was a slight degree above useless, don't even know what the hell I'm doing swinging a racket. So, um, like, you know, like I could, I could at least hit the ball in, and I was hitting with some top spin and all that kind of stuff. That was nice, and, um, but like yesterday, I was uh, uh, yesterday morning. I was practicing a little bit, and like I don't know, like I I think it was just like in the zone, cause like I was putting like every serve going over the net and was in. I'm like, oh my god, did I do it? But I'm I'm not I'm not gonna get my hopes up though, um, cause I have a feeling that's gonna ricochet or backfire at some point in time. So I'm not gonna get too invested in it yet. But uh, but clearly, keep practicing. I think is is the good message to take from that. So. But, but all right, I don't really, like I said, I, I don't have too much else to, to talk about or update right now. So I uh, love you guys, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.